Good afternoon, Microbytes. It's great to have you back. Right in this session, we are going to be creating multiple levels. Um, so if you have only just joined us, we have multiple tutorials. Um, you can go back and uh, see how to create enemies, how to fire projectiles, how to create a point system, and also how to uh, animate your sprite. Um, so if you want to go back and do those, that's cool. You can click on the link um that's available there um right let's get started okay the first thing we need to do in this tutorial uh is that we need to grab a function uh so this is in your advanced blocks um you're gonna make a new function it is going to be called change level change level level and but this time we need to add an extra parameter so this creates sort of another variable um, that allows you to switch between the levels essentially um, so this is level number number Done. okay let me just pop this up here here we go Okay, inside our function, we are going to need a logic block. Uh, we need the this one here, if true. And we want to create enough for approximately three levels. We do need the if statement in each one, so we'll just drop it down to four and then pop off the bottom one, and then you've got three there. Um, because we need the, the little diamond shape to, to fill in later. Um, actually, we'll fill this in now. So we need another logic block. We need the equals. And what we're saying is that if the number level, that's what this is for, if the number level equals, actually we'll start with one because it's more logical in my head. Um, if the number level equals one, then you're going to show the first tile map. So I created a tile map. It looks uh, like the this game over here, or does this game over here? Um, so we're going to grab that tile map and we're going to chuck it into here. So that's going to be level one. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this, um, drop it in. You can create whatever tile maps you like just for the case of um, for the sake of time i'm going to use the same tile map for in each one i'll just adjust it a little bit in each one um, but you can create completely new uh, maps for each level um, so that's up to you uh, and then we want to grab this uh, diamond here that we created and also copy that um, three times and pop that in there and there and of course this is going to be level two and in turn that's going to be level three all right um now in our um map um you can see i've used walls here um to stop the character from wandering off to where i don't want him to be um we'll have a little play around with that a little bit later on as well um what i want us to do is we need a starting spot for our sprite to make sure he starts in the right place um, and, then, and a really simple way of doing this actually is if i go like this and i'm just going to find a four tile here i'm going to pop that just there it looks sort of similar it doesn't stand out too much um, just make it an easy way of dropping a character onto onto the map um, and we'll have to probably should have done that before I copied the tile map, but that's okay. Um, so again, I grabbed one out of the dungeon, didn't I? And I'll start my character each time in the same place because he's going from from the left side to the right side, and so it will appear that he sort of comes back onto the left side of the screen to make it sort of make logical sense. Um, last one there. We will do the same again. Okay, down that one. Right, and to make our character appear on the tile, um, oh, that's a good point. We need to actually 
tell the computer to um, come up, uh, tell it what level to start on and to, to bring up the level screen. So uh, something else we need to do is create a new variable, make a new variable. This is called current level. level and set current level to zero it's fine although we're going to change that to one so we don't have a level zero uh, and we need to call our function call change level and instead of one we're going to make that Oh no, we are going to leave that at one. Um, we need to do something else in a minute, but there we go. So we've got that. Although our character is turning up in a random location, so what we want to do is we need to add something over here to say to show up on that particular space. So we're going to place um, grab something out of here. We're going to go place, 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 place my sprite on top of. And we'll just grab that because well, we can use random, doesn't matter too much because we've only got the one. Um, so, this is the good point in using a very specific tile rather than using um, a generic um, tile. Um, so, we can just do this because there is only the one in each one, so it will definitely turn up on that spot. Um, and the other thing, because we're using this. Um, tree looking tile here it doesn't have a background so we need to put in a background color so we'll throw in a background color just to make it look nice and pretty uh, set background color too and make it green of course because it's on the grass and now when we turn up yeah, there we go that looks a lot better and our sprite is in the starting in the right spot that is fantastic Okay, so now we need to make a function that is going to allow us to um, change levels. So what we need to do is, at the moment when we run around, we can run around. We can't run through the through the trees. That's fine, um, but we can't go anywhere. So we need a way of getting somewhere. So we need to put in some kind of door. Um, so for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some wall. And check a door on the wall. Open door. Put them there. Boop. Okay. And oh, I need to make sure we lock that off. Okay, now, and so now what we want to say is we want uh, in here when a sprite overlaps, this one here, so when a sprite of a kind player overlaps the door. Uh, what's going to happen is going to change the current level by one. So it's going to go, the level's going to change by one, which means it will take you to the next level. Um, and of course, when that happens, you need to call the next level. Current level, oops, variable there. Yeah. So change level to the current new current level because the current levels changed by one. So it will call this one here. Uh, let's give that a try. So let's run around. Oops. Oh, and we ran through the door, and we appear at the next level, which again. I need to put another one to get to the third level, so we'll do that quickly. Um, here, throw on some walls. And a door. Again, 
it's the same. Um, and again, if you've done the other tutorials, if you've got enemies or th things you can collect, you can add those onto your map um, as you've done in the last tutorials. Um, might just just throw in something to make it look a little bit different. Um, let's maybe make some added walls in here or something, just to make a little bit of complication. Well, not really, but order to make a little more maze like I guess um, all right just to I don't know pretend like there's some kind of options that you could choose from um, and of course that needs to be red down that one um, and then finally in the final one there we are going to have a chest I've got to find the chest there it is um, and we'll put the chest there we go oops just there, and that can be our um, win, just to make it nice and simple. But you can have whatever you like there, or make it a, a point value that you have to get to, or you know whatever you like. All completed in a certain time frame. Um, so we will go. We need to go overlap. And that will be game function, and it'll be game over. Game over, win, hooray! Right, let's try it out. I'll use my keys, it's easier. Um, oh, don't go that way, and this way. Final level. Alright. Hey, I hope you enjoyed these tutorials. Please feel free to click on the links and you can check out the other tutorials if you haven't done them. Um, otherwise, enjoy creating your adventure game. Thanks. See ya.